Alright, so you see this motor is spinning now. Capacitive run motor. And I'm about to turn on this switch, which is going to dump the light into this battery. So I've got about 99 volts. This is a 220 light bulb. Now I'm going to dump this back into the battery. And now we're charging this battery. I did the isolation transformer here. 120, 120. So this thing is getting a little bit hot. And of course there's some losses here in this inverter. But the main improvements I made here are this high speed diode bridge. This is a single phase diode bridge. You see I have two AC lines coming in. So I'm only rectifying a single phase here. And I'm pulling the back EMF off that phase through this transistor. I put a diode here across the battery. There's my battery voltage. So you can see, I'm going to try to zoom in, there's my transistor, there's a zener across this capacitor, there's a zener across this diode, here's a zener which is protecting the gate, here's my battery, there's the little capacitor across the battery, and here's another little diode across the other gate. And over here is the diode across the resistor. Okay, if you have any questions, just ask me for the circuit. Disconnect this light bulb. Okay, so I just disconnected the light bulb now. So that's not draining anything from the battery. Alright, let's look a little bit closer at this voltage. So you can see it's holding pretty steady between 11.84, 11 11.85. 11 Alright, so again, we've got the battery which is running this inverter. And the single phase of this inverter is coming around and back up through here into this transformer and the single phase is coming in here to this motor. The second phase is coming out down here and that comes around here to the capacitors over here. So this is the capacitor bank. This is the switch between the start capacitor and the run capacitor. So you've got the single phase coming from the inverter, second phase coming from the capacitors, and now the third phase is coming out here into this diode bridge, coming through this transistor, back through this diode, and dumping back into the battery.
and it's still holding that voltage on the battery. Now to make some improvements I'm going to have to change the wiring inside the coils of this motor. Right now I have it driving two of the six coils so it probably will work better if I change this around so that it's only driving one of the coils. And aside from all that if I want to harvest more back EMF from this I just need to add more momentum to this wheel. Okay, thanks for watching.